Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and I'm excited to show you the all-new Dragon Canyon from Simply Nuck, based on the latest 12th Gen Alder Lake processor. It's got some new features, so let's take a look at it. The new Dragon Canyon from Simply Nook comes in two 12th Gen Alder Lake processor variants, i9 and i7, in an LGA 1700 socket. Yes, I said socket. Similar to the Beast Canyon, the all new Dragon Canyon does support the illuminated uh, panel in the front. This has a skull preloaded, but you can take these four screws out and replace the panel with your own gaming logo and show this off. Check out what it looks like. Here we have the illuminated uh, power button. Uh, it will show you when the unit's on or in standby. And then down here we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit type C and type A port. We also have a full-size SD card slot, so this is great for putting your media files in from your camera. And then we have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack for microphone plus stereo headphone. Taking a look at the back now, we have up here our Kensington lock, a C14 AC uh, power port, so this will take your international power cords. And then over here, we have what is called the Eden Bay compute element, and that is the heart of the system. It's the plug-in card. So on Beast Canyon, where you had Driver Bay, this one has Eden Bay, and it's what makes this, this is what has the Alder Lake processor on it. It is compatible. This plug-in card is compatible with Beast Canyon, and the Beast Canyon plug-in cards are compatible with the Dragon Canyon chassis. As you can see, I do have a plug-in graphics card. And as you can now see, they've actually spread the two, the double wide graphics card slot over and fitted an area in here to allow more cooling for the processor. Now taking a look at the Eden Bay, we have six USB type A 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit ports, all six. We have two Thunderbolt 4 alternate display port USB Type-C 10 gigabit ports. This, each of these will support two 4K 60 hertz monitors, either in display port or in Thunderbolt mode. And then we have a US, I'm sorry, we have a HDMI 2.0B 4K at 60 hertz HDMI port. Over here, you can see our two Ethernet ports. The top one is 2.5 gigabit, and the bottom one, if this is the i9 card, is 10 gigabit, and the i7 card uh, has, I believe, a one gigabit. Opening up the system is, is fairly easy. You loosen these four number one Phillips head screws, and then you can just kind of uh, lift the top up, it will unsnap a little bit and then just come off. That takes off the back panel. Then you have two side panels and the side panels just slide backwards and they lift off pretty easily. I'm gonna slide out the other. You do have to remove both side panels before you touch the top. And then opening the top, you can actually see the word pull here. And what you do is you're pulling under here and I'll do one at a time. And you're, I'm pulling it towards the camera. And at that point, that just tilts up. Now you can see that I have a graphics card installed in this one. I did fail to mention that the Eden Bay compute element, uh, the Alder Lake drives three 4K 60 Hertz monitors. So even though you can physically attach five monitors to the base card, only three of them would be active unless you have a GPU plugged in to give you additional display drivers. Here, I've removed the graphics card by loosening this screw, flipping this panel back, which is exposes the brackets. I removed the screw for the GPU card and used the ejector to remove it. I've also removed 
the air baffle for the cooling fan and the Nook Elements screw itself. Next, we'll remove the Eden Bay itself. Now the Eden Bay is not easy to remo remove and it's not necessary for you to remove it. The memory and storage can be accessed through this panel without removing the card. We have at the very top, a USB 2.0 cable going off to the front panel and a USB 3.0. These are mezzanine type connectors. We also have the eight pin um, power connector, which has a little lat lock. And that's the standard connector that you see like on a graphics card. And then below it, you can see that there's a, uh, all of the little cables that were on the Ghost Canyon have been collected together on a single connector. We're gonna remove that in a second. And then at the top, you can see our antenna connectors. And I'll use a small flathead screwdriver to help me pull these straight vertically up. On the back side, there is uh, an ejector. Now, similar to the ejector that is on the graphics card, there is an ejector on the Eden Bay element card. And this is accessed through this little hole here. And you just push down and it ejects the card. So to get the card out, now that I've ejected it, I can come over here and continue to, to remove it. I'm gonna push down on the ejector just to make sure it is unlatched. There it comes. All right, now I can get to the antenna connectors. And they are very tight and they do eject straight up. Flat blade screwdriver. And be very careful with this connector because even though it's a, a large, larger than the old ones, it is delicate. So there's that one removed. And the other one removed. All right, so now I can pull the card out and you can see the last connector and I'm gonna pull it straight up. This is the front panel header and the front panel header on the ghost with several connectors that have now been collected together. So you can see that this cable is an adapter. So it has the, the front panel header that then goes off to several other connectors that plug in and they're taped closed to make sure they don't come unplugged accidentally. So now we have the Eden Bay out and there is what's left of our Dragon Canyon chassis. Looking at the front edge of the Eden Bay, you can see the eight pin power connector, the white USB 2.0 mezzanine connector, and the black USB 3.0 4.0 uh, mezzanine connector. Here is the front panel header, which has uh, additional uh, circuits on it. So this goes to the power switch on the front, as well as the SD card slot. And then you can see the fan uh, connector going to the fan, and that's what this cable is. And then there's the BIOS reset jumper. And then down here is a power switch. The unit can be operated uh, on its own, uh, just plugging 12 volt power in and then using the power switch to turn it on and off. As I mentioned earlier, it's not necessary to remove the Eden Bay to update the memory or SSDs. While the unit is still installed inside of the chassis, you simply loosen these two number one Phillips head screws and they are captured so they won't fall out. And then once those are loosened up, this front panel just simply swings away. And when it swings away, it comes out. As you can see, there are two uh, 2280 SSD cooling pads on, uh, for the SSDs in here. And then the top has the large blower that pulls air across there and blows it off this heat sink. Let's take a closer look now at the Eden Bay itself. 
Here is the processor. It's under this large heat sink, which then brings the heat up to the cooling fins, which you can see all of the grills. And then over here are the two 2280 SSDs and the two DDR4 3200 DIMM slots. You can also see that the time of day battery is easy to access to replace should it go bad. On the back side is the third 2280 SSD. It is accessed with a, again, a number one screw. And then once it, this is loosened, you angle it up and slide it out. And you can see the SSD is attached to the cooling plate, which comes in at an angle. And then this simply screws back down. The features of the new Dragon Canyon from Simply Nook are the 12th gen Alder Lake processor. The Eden Bay Compute Element supports three M.2 SSDs, and along with the fourth that's on the bottom of the unit, you can now put up to 32 terabytes of storage, along with the 64 gigabytes of base system memory, and support for up to a 350 watt NVIDIA 3000 series graphics cards. Use cases include AAA gaming while streaming off the same box, graphics uh, rendering, video editing, AutoCAD or computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing, simulations, and modeling, as, long, uh, as well as just enjoying your gaming while you're doing your business work. Head over to simplynook.com and configure your unit today. Thank you.